creating a serene environment that breeds greater and generational thinkers has propelled us to bring to you yet another exciting edition of Bookworm Reading Competition. Oh yeah, this is Bookworm Season 3. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome. I go by the name FM and from now till we get to crown our winners for both the lower and upper primary category of Bookworm Season 3, we will be seeing new faces full of readiness, determination, and so ready to power you all in terms of reading. We are coming to you live from the CJ Studios, and the program is proudly brought to us by Bookworm Avenue Consult and supported by Planet Drink. So Planet says they comes with a wide range of varieties, cocoa, lemon, pineapple, apple, orange, bitter lemon, and cocktail. So if you're having a party, a get-together, a dinner, and you want to serve the best of drinks, then I recommend to you Planet Drinks. Planet, a world of taste and also blessed biscuits available in milk, chocolate, strawberry, and short bread cookies. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself some blessed biscuits. Many thanks to Z Fan World for supporting this educative program. Children's Amusement Center here in Accra located at the Legon City Mall and also to Argentan Publication, Ghana's leading publishing and printing company. They cover you with all your educational materials such as textbooks, newsletters, letterhead design, receipts, and invoices, or call Adrensa Publications on 0242-336-537, 0242-336-537. And to C2G Book People, one of Ghana's leading book supplies with the principle of making books very, very available to you and affordable. They sell extensive range of books, gifts, toys, and more. Call them on 020 300 020 Many thanks to CJ Multimedia and the Media 7 Group of Companies for making Season 3 a reality. So, this is what we've all been waiting for. Bookworm Season 3. I take a break on the show to acknowledge our supporters. When I come back, we roll with whatever we have here on the show today. My name is FM and welcome to Bookworm Season 3. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. You're still live on Bookworm Reading Competition Season 3. So what I can say is Season 1 was revealing and full of fun. And Season 2 came in with its own flair of display of prowess in academia. What has Season 3 got for us? My judges are ready to make sure we get to know the rules of today's activities. For Judge 1, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mr. Evans Adisi. We welcome, sir. And for Judge 2, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Kelvin Malo. Oh. <laughs> Judges, you're welcome once again. Thank you, Wafem. Thank welcome you. to Season 3. Good to be here. Once yeah, again. yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> so let me find out from you, what are the rules for the game? Okay. As usual, let me welcome everybody to the Season 3 of Bookworm Reading Competition. Um, as a reading competition, we are going to look at our contestants do well in terms of their composure, fluency, punctuation, and speed. As well, we'll be taking note of their phonics, reading comprehension, phonetic awareness, and all of that. So they should come prepared because season three is going to be hotter than ever. All right, so that's what Mr. Kelvin Malo has got to say. Over to you, Mr. Evans Adisi. Well, we want to uh, remind viewers that we are not scoring alone. We are scoring with them as well. So as much as we are scoring here, they should keep voting for their favorite contestants. Thank you. All right. So then let me pick up from there. If you want to vote, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to polls, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on your favorite reader's picture to vote as many as you can all on all networks here in Ghana. Star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to the reader's code number and number of votes. What are we waiting for? Many thanks to our supporters once again. Planet Drinks, A World of Taste, Bless Biscuits, CJ Multimedia, Media 7 Agents, Publications, Z Fan World, and C2G Book People. It's time, if you are ready, help me welcome my first reader, Jabua. <laughs> Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. 
My name is Irama Walani Eboa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of St. Stephen's Anglican School Complex, Tema Comte 10. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Our first reader in the person of Irama Eboa is ready. Irama, you can turn the paper. Ghanaians are waiting for you. You can start. Abrefi's red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. Abrefi, who was staying with her grandmother, Enyo, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Abrefi, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop. Her grandmother advised. A baby got up, thought in a plan, pain, did, did what grandma had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form one class of Russo JHS school, Miss Afrifa, the class teacher, was conducting a quiz competition between the boys and girls. The boys who were losing the competition. Your time is up, Erama. Your time is up to judge Ivan Sadisi. Erama, that's a good start. I'm, I'm so impressed with the way you are reading. Your speed is on point, pronunciation is on point. So I wish you the best. Start well, okay? I wish you the best. If you are home, you enjoyed the reading. All you need to do is to dial star three six five star three six six and then you proceed to her code B W one. Ladies and gentlemen, our next reader is Jenfua Frempong. <laughs> followers of Bookworm. My name is Jane Fua Abna Frempong. I am a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and people of Atomic Hills Presby Model School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Joining me now is Jane Fua Frempong. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, so turn your paper. You speak out loud. Ghanians are waiting. You can start. It was early on a Friday morning. A briefie who was staying with her grandmother, Eno, was alone in her bedroom. She was sitting on the floor crying. She actually, she was, she would be getting ready for school. A, a, brief, a briefie, why? Uh, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandmother, I have stomach pains. She replied, come, come on, come on, just up. Brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop her grandmother. Your time is up, Jen Fua, and over to you, Judge Kelvin. Hi, Jen Fua. Yes, please. Okay, uh, nice attempt, good try, but you have to go back home and keep practicing, okay? okay Practice sir. more, okay? Thank so I hope to see you in the next round. Thank you. To keep Gen 4 from in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. Help me welcome our next reader in the person of Cobilia. Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Kobiliana Ubielekomi, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Prince Legend Academy. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Kobilia Komi joins me here. Kobilia, you can turn your paper. 
and start. I will fix red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. Abrefu was staying with her grandmother. Enu was only in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Abrefu, Abrefi, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked her when she entered her, the room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth. Take your bath and have something to eat and it will stop. Her grandmother advised. A brief got up to to in pain. Did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form one classroom of New Street, And that's it for you, Cobelia. Over to you, Judge Ivan Sadisi. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. It's a good start. Is that okay? But just go and practice more and learn more weight. Is that okay? okay. All right. Thanks for coming. To vote for Cobelia on all networks here in Ghana, star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW3. Our next reader is Abdul Kelly. <laughs> Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bukwem. My name is Edgar Jabal Toussaint Kelly, and the contestant of Bukwem Season 3, a people of Dex Educational Institute. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bukwem, me today, me tomorrow. Thank you. Abdul Kelly is here. Abdul, you can turn your paper and start. A brief is red letter day. It was on a fr it was early on a Friday morning. A brief who was staying with her grandmother, Enu, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. A brief who a brief why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains. She replied, come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat. And it will stop her grandmother advice. A brave got up through in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the Form 1 school of Nsua 3 JHS school. Your time is up, Kelly. That's it for you. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. All right, Kelly. Nice attempt, okay? But you have to keep reading so when you meet new words, you'll be able to identify and pronounce them properly, okay? okay. So well done. See you in the next round. To vote for Kelly, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to his code, BW4. Help me welcome our next reader, Achedzi Bidiakon. Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bukwen. My name is Achedzi Ohinoa Bidiakon, a contestant of Bukwen season three and the people of Great Stars Montezuma School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. And I have with me here Achete. How are you doing? I'm fine. All right, so turn your paper. It's time. You can start. A brief red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. A brief who was staying with her grandmother, Eno, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. A brief, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked her when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up. 
brush your teeth, take your bath, and find something to eat and to stop her grandmother's advice. A brief got up in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do, and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form one classroom of Swatch JHS School, Miss Efrifa, the class. Your time is up. Over to you, Mr. Evans. Oh, yeah. Hi. It's a nice attempt, eh? So we're just going to practice tomorrow at home, okay? Okay. You will do well. Okay. I wish you all the best. Okay. All right. And those are the comments from Mr. <laughs> Mr. Evans. I was almost about to mention Mr. Kelvin's name. Mr. Kelvin, what are you doing to me? So that was the comment from Mr. Evans Adisi to keep Achedi Bidiakon in the competition. All you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. Our next reader is Yvonne. <laughs> Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Ivo Aja Edwin, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Neighbor School Complex. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Yvonne Edwin is here. Yvonne, please turn your paper and start reading. A breathy red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. A breathy, who, who was staying with her grandmother, Eno was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. A breathy, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains. She replied, come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop it. And it will stop. Her grandmother advised. A breathy got up true in pain. He did what her grandmother had told her to do and she, and she felt and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form, in the form cla one class of the of Insuatu JHS. And your time is up. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Yvonne, well done. Okay, okay. but you have to go back home, read more, okay. so you can find new words. So when you meet them, you can pronounce them easily. Okay. Okay. Build on your vocabulary, okay. but you did well. See you in the next round. Okay. To keep Yvonne Edwin in the competition, all you need to do, all networks here in Ghana, star 365, star 366, session. then you proceed to her code BW6. Fifi Martins is ready for us. <laughs> Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Fifi Martins, a contestant of Bookworm Reading Competition and a people of All Saints Luchon School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm Read Today, Lead Tomorrow. Thank you. We have Fifi here. Fifi, you can now turn your paper. Over to you, Ghanaians are waiting. Start reading. A breathy red let letter day. A breathy red letter day. It was early on Friday morning. A breathy who was staying with her grandmother and who was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually she would be getting ready for school. A breathy, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma has stomach pain. She replied, come on, get a brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop. Her grandma advised a brafi got up though in pain. Did what did what her grandma had told her to do. 
and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form one class of next. And that's it for you, Fifi Martins. Mr. Evans. Fifi, are you naturally calm or you are a bit tensed? Because I didn't see the confidence coming. Is that okay? Just feel free. When you come, feel free and read. And open your mouth and speak. Is that okay? So I'll give you another chance the next time. Is that okay? Thank you. Great comments coming from Mr. Evans at DC. To keep Fifi Martins in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak App mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on Fifi's picture to vote as many as you can. He needs your vote to keep him in the competition. This is Bookworm Radio Competition Season 3. We take a break to acknowledge our supporters. When we are back, the show continues. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> You are welcome back from the break. This is Book and Reading Competition Season 3. If you just tune in, then you are on the right channel. I have with me here, Ni Oman. Hello, Ghanians and followers of Book and. My name is Ni Oman Otu Alfred, a contestant of Book and Season 3 and a pupil of Alcid Academy. Please vote for me to keep in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so turn your paper and start reading. I prefer to read the letter D. It was early on a Friday morning. I prefer who was staying with her grandmother Enu was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Abrefi, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to it and it will stop her grandmother advice. Abrefi got up through in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the Form 1 classroom of so at JHS school, Miss Afrefa, the class... Your time is up, Ni Omanye. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Ni? Ni? Yes. Okay, well done. Good attempt. Wait, don't go. Don't go, don't go. Come back. Don't go. Stand. Okay. So you go home, you practice more, okay? Okay. You read more to find new words to build on your vocabulary. So if you meet new words, you'll be able to pronounce them and work on your speed as well, okay? Okay. Well done. To keep him in the competition, all you need to do is to dial star 365, star 366, session. then you proceed to his code BW8. Let's welcome Jun Juanita Ozo. Juanita Ozo. Hello, Ghanians and followers of Book Web. My name is Juanita Ase Ojo a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Services Primary and JHS at Burma Camp. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. We have Juanita here with us. Juanita, it's time to turn your paper. The judges are ready, viewers are ready. You can start reading. It was early on a Friday morning. A brefi who was staying with her grandmother, Enno was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Unusually, she would be getting ready for school. A brefi, why were you crying and not getting ready for school? 
her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop, her grandmother advised. Abrefi got up and though in pain, did what her grandmother had told her do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the form one classroom. Your time is up, Juanita. Mr. Evans. I like your surname, Ozo. Hope you are fine. Yes. So good start. Go and practice more at home, okay? And okay. you will do well. Is that okay? Yes. All right. To vote for Juanita, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. Our next reader is Wisdom. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Wisdom Oton, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Atomic Hills Primary Model School. Please, vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have Wisdom Oton here. Wisdom, Ghanaians are waiting. Your parents are home watching. You can turn your paper and start reading. It was early on Friday morning. A brave who was staying in with her grandmother and no, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Actually, she would be getting ready for school. A brave why are you crying? and not getting ready for school. Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandmother, I have stomach pains, she realized. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop. Her grandmother advised. Her brave got up through in, in pain. Did did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school later in the afternoon in the form one classroom of and that's it for your wisdom mr kelvin wisdom good attempt okay? okay but you have to read more you have to practice more okay so when you find new words, you'll be able to pronounce them rightly, okay? So go home and practice more. Well done. He's in a hurry, you can see that. So to keep him in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to his code, BW10. Our next reader is Ethel Dunyon. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Ethel Selikam Dunyo, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of the Christian Center School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have Ethel Dunyo here with me, ready to read to Ghanaians. So you can turn your paper. This is Bookworm Season 3. You can start. A brief red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. A brief who was staying with her grandmother and was all alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. A brief, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop, her grandmother advised. Abrefi got up though in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the Form 1 class of Intreso Insuatre GHS School, Miss Efrifa 
the class teacher was conducting a quiz competition between the boys and girls. The boys who were losing the competition had another turn and answered wrongly. And your time is up, Ethel, Mr. Evans. Ethel, can you clap for yourself? Great start, great start. Continue like that, okay? Yes. All right, all the best. And if you are home and you love what you just saw, what are you doing? Pick up your phone. All networks in Ghana, star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code, BW11. Kek Agbevi is next. <laughs> Hello, hello Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Kek Abeve, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Grace Stars Montessori School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have Kek Abeve here with me, so I got the name right. From now on, I'll pronounce it well. Kek, you are welcome. Thank you. That's good. We are all waiting for you, so you can turn your paper and start reading. A breakfast, red letter day. It was early on a Friday morning. A breakfast who was staying with her grandmother, Eno, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Abrefi, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her mother asked her, asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, and take your bath, and find something to eat and it will stop. Her grandmother advised. Abrefi got, Abrefi got up, true in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do, and left for school. Your time is up, and I go over to Mr. Kelvin Malo. Kek, good attempt, nice try, but you go home and you keep practicing, okay? Okay. So you can find more words, build on your vocabulary, and next time pay attention to the script so you can pronounce exactly what is there, okay? Well done. Okay. Those are the comments. If you are home, star 365, star 366, hash, and then you proceed to his code, BW12. Gideon, answer is the one next one. Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Gideon Otiana Nansa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of the Living Spring School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Joining me now is Gideon Ansa. Gideon, you are welcome. Thank you. So you can turn your paper and start reading for us. It was early on a Friday morning. Abrefi, who was staying with her grandmother, Eno, was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Abrefi, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up. Brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop her. And it will stop her grandmother's advice. A brefy got up, though in pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do and she left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the Form 1 class of Insatue JHS School, Miss Afrifa. Your time is up. Unfortunately for you, Gideon, Mr. Kelvin Mallow. Yes. Nice attempt. Well done. But you have to keep your composure very well because it's a competition, okay? okay? Go home, practice more, find new words so when you meet them, you're able to pronounce them rightly, okay? okay. Nonetheless, you did well.
to keep Gideon in the competition to progress to the next stage. All you need to do is to download the Speak App mobile app. You go to Pose, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on his picture to vote as many as you can for him. Our next reader is Enunyam Amankwa. <laughs> Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Bookworm. My name is Enunyam Amankwa. I am a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and the people of Evergreenfield Montessori School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, me today, me tomorrow. Thank you. I have Enunyam Amankwa here with me. It's time to turn your paper and start to read. Our breath read later day. It was early on Friday morning. Biffy, who was staying with her grandmother, Anna was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, she would be getting ready for school. Ah, uh, Biffy, why are you crying and not getting ready for school? Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandmother, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, and take your bath and find something to eat. It will stop her grandmother's advice. <coughs> Buffy got up and pain, did what her grandmother had told her to do. She left for school. Later in the afternoon, in the Form 1 class of National GSS school with Afria, the class teacher who con conducted a crazy All right, so your time is up. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Ivan Sadisi, comments. My brother. Hello. Yes. What's up? It's when you get home, eh, ask your instructor to help you in some pronunciation. Is that okay? Okay. Because I, I saw you struggling some of the words. Okay. It's a competition where you can go far. Is that okay? Okay. Right. To keep a new Nyam Amankwa in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to his code BW14. Our next reader is Jesse Ajay Nyam. Hello, Ghanaians and followers of Book One. My name is Jesse Ajay Nyako, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Great Stars Montessori School. Please vote for me to keep me in the competition. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. And I have my final reader for the lower primary category here in the person of Jansi Ajay Nyako. So, send the paper now for me. <laughs> and start reading. Viewers are waiting. It was early on a Friday morning. A breathy who was staying with her grandmother, Eno was alone in her room. She was sitting on the floor crying. Usually, there she would be getting re ready for school. Bre breathy, why are you cr crying? and not getting ready for school. Her grandmother asked when she entered her room. Grandma, I have stomach pains, she replied. Come on, get up, brush your teeth, take your bath and find something to eat and it will stop her grandmother. At Your time is up, unfortunately, Jiang Si. And to you, Mr. Kelvin Malo. Hi, Jiang Si. Okay. Uh, well done, but keep practicing because we are going to factor your speed, your pronunciation, your composure, and your punctuation. So please go home, practice more. And when I see you next time, you do better than this. Well done. Thank you so much, Jiang Si. 
So to keep him in the competition, star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to his code, the W15. You're still live on book and reading competition season three. So we are done with the lower primary category. We take a break to acknowledge our supporters to Planet Drinks, to Blessed Biscuits, CJ Multimedia, Media 7, Adjunsa Publications, Z Fan World, and C2G Book People. We will be back right after the break. Do stay with us. Welcome back from the break. This is Book and Reading Competition Season 3. And now to the upper primary category. I have with me here Lillian Amwa. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Lillian Amwaku Nakisha, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Silicon Valley International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep you in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Who can you today, need tomorrow. Thank you. Lillian, you can turn your paper. Turn the paper, okay. So everyone is waiting. You are starting for the upper primary. Over to you. The Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. From Wekia, the west of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere. When the, when the communal bus clouds surfaced during those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa. All right, Lillian, your time is up. And now to Mr. Ivan Sadisi. Lillian, what's up? Cool. There's something positive about you. You have this confidence. That is nice. But you have to speak out so we can hear you. And the strategy is that we are marking you for speed as well. So when you are reading and you get to a word you cannot pronounce, you are very sure you cannot pronounce, then you jump quickly and go to the next paragraph or the next line. Is that okay? But you will do well. Just go and practice more at home. Okay? All right. Those are the comments from Mr. Evans at the seat. To keep Lillian in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak App mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on Lillian's picture and vote for her. Our next reader is Awentemi Esi. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Awen Temi Kamela Aseka Zeka, a contestant of the Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Services Primary and JHS. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have my next reader here in the person of Awen Temi Asik. I got the name correct. You are welcome. Thank you. All right, so turn your paper. Your parents are home watching. Guardians are waiting. Friends in school. Make them proud. Over to you. Prologue. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain wouldn't stop. Each rain drop on the such roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the columnibus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the Latin was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. 
The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. And that's it for you, I went to me. So while she was reading, I was patiently looking at Judge Kelvin, waiting <laughs> to hear what he has to say. Over to you. I went to me. Good attempt, good start. Nice composure. But you have to practice more because it's a competition so you can up your game, okay? But so far, so good. Go home, practice more, and then learn how to break words and syllables so you can pronounce it, okay? Well done. Thank you. So far, so good. Dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code, the W48. Help me welcome Yusebia Achiku as our next reader. <laughs> and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Yusebia Dede Tedeki Achiku, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and the People of Services Primary and JHS Bella Camp. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. And Yusebia Achiku is already here with me. You can turn your paper. Make everyone proud at home. Over to you. You can start. The Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation ne nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as dead. She prayed for a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. The last one had been scary and as much as she tried to avoid it, it replayed on her mind as she lay down to sleep. She soon dozed off. The trail was winding and the eerie sounds around made her skin crawl. Wow, so unfortunately your time is up. Your time is up. And now to Mr. Evans. My dear. Yes, please. You did so well. You can see me. I was clapping for you. Yes, so go and practice more at home, okay? Yes, please. Right. Thank you. To vote for her, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code. BW46. Help me welcome Trifina Tete as our next reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the border. My name is Trifina Tete, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Great Stars Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me and keep me in the competition. Book room, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have my next reader here, Trifina Tete. How are you doing? Please, I'm fine. You are in a hurry. Turn your paper, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and starts reading. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vertigation nearby the village was threatening look. The sounds of the lightning tender seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Muki, the worst of the rainy season was darkness and the enveloped atmosphere when the Columbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the sky in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed 
for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at nine to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain could would stop. Mookie gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers. Your time is up, Trifina, Mr. Kelvin Malo. Trifina, yes. good attempt, well done. But you pay attention to your script so you don't skip words, okay? So you pronounce them as they are written on the script, okay? okay. So you go home, practice more so you can find new words and build up on your vocabulary. Nonetheless, you did well. Thank you. All right, so to keep her in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to Pose, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can for her. Rashid Okai is my next reader. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Anai Okan Rashid, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Air Force Basic School in Burma Camp. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Rashid Okan is here. You can turn your paper. Everyone is watching at home. Make them proud. Over to you. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as tough the already light structure would cave in. From Mukia, the rest of the rainy season was darkness that, the, that enveloped the atmosphere when the cum, cumun, cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light fr from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Your time is up, Rashid. Mr. Ivan Sadisi, over to you. Rashid, great start, okay? So just go home, practice more, and learn new words. Is that okay? Yes. So you can pronounce them when you see them, okay? okay. A great start. Thank you. To keep Rashid in the competition, there are star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to his school, the W27 edition. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers across the borders. My name is Eran Shirabu Aponse, a contestant of Bukwem Season 3 and a pupil of Young Ambassadors International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, Insura. You are welcome. Thank you. So turn your paper and make mom and dad proud at home. Over to you. You can start. Okay. Prolog. Nimaku village was dark and gloomy. The thickest of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. From Mukia, the worst of the rainy seasons was dark in the envelope the atmosphere when the common lonely bus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the days for, for the dry season when she together with the children in the village, 
guided by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and brought deeper under the light co covers of the cloth to feel warmer. All so right, that's it for you, Inshira Ampons. Now over to you, Judge Kelvin. Inshira? Yes, Uncle. Well done. Nice try. Good attempt. I like the way you started. So continue like that, but do all to practice more at home so you'll be able to pronounce new words when you find them and learn how to break words into syllable so if you find it difficult pronouncing you can pronounce okay thank you well done great comments coming from judge kelvin to keep in shiram ponsan all you need to do is to download the speak up mobile app you go to post you select bookworm for kids show you tap on his picture to vote as many as you can for him remember it is only your vote that can keep them in the competition many thanks to our supporters to planet drinks and to bless biscuits if you want to take a snack i'm sure you are thirsty so if you want to quench your thirst then i recommend to you planet drinks comes with all varieties so whichever your taste is we are good to go our next reader is akosia adade Uredu. My name is Akosi Abuada Duredo, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Hallmark International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me, to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have here Akosia Adadi Duredo. Akosia, mom is home, dad is home, your colleagues at school are all watching. Make them proud. You can start reading. Prologue. Nimaku village was dark and gloomy. The thick, thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as through the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped, enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the Latin was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa. The All right, so your time is up. Unfortunately for you, Judge Evans. Akosia. Yes, sir. Shall well done. You've done well. Is that okay? Okay. I'll give you a plus for greeting us. And that, that's refreshing to hear from you. Thank okay, you. so go and practice more at home because it's a competition so you can progress to the next stage. Is that okay? Okay. All the same, you've done well. Thank you. Thumbs up. If you are watching and Akusia is your favorite, all you need to do is to pick up your phone. All networks here in Ghana, star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW35. Help me welcome our next reader, Mary Kwao. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Book Cream Across the Borders. My name is Mary Kwao a contestant of the Book Crime Season 3 and the people of Great Stars Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book Crime, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Our sister Mary Kwao is here. Mary, you can turn your paper. Everyone is watching. You can start reading. Prologue. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukria, the rest of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus cumulonibus clouds surface. During those times, light from the light 
lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk on. Mukia longed for the dry season when she together when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as death. She prayed for a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. The last one had been... Unfortunately, your time is up, Mary Kwao, and I move over to Mr. Kelvin Malo. Mary, well done. Nice attempt, okay? But because it's a competition and it hasn't ended, you have to go home, practice more, so you can stand up to the finale of the competition. Well done. Thank you. If Mary is your favorite, dial star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to her code, BW29. Our next reader is Jessica Kent. Hello, Ghanians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Jessica Fafalima Bina Kent, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a people of Kondros Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I will need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book when read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Jessica Kent is here. Jessica, how are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. All right, so turn your paper. You can start reading. You can skip and go. Continue. Namaku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a treatment look. The sound of lighting and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Even drops on ten drops on the Cottage roof fell and as top the already light scattered woods came in. From for marking the worst of the rain, the rainy season was darkness that em enveloped the atmosphere when the. Your time is up, Jessica, and I go to Mr. Evans for comments. Jessica, yes, sir. I know you can do well. Is that okay? Probably just work on your speed. Is that okay? Just go and work on your speed. And then some of the words, you couldn't pronounce them. I understand. It's a first start. But go and work on your confidence and work on your pronunciation as well. Okay? okay, okay. But you can smile. Smile. Great. Yeah. All you the need best. to smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To keep Jessica in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW22. Ryan Opoku is my next reader. Help me welcome you. Hello, Ghanaians, and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Ryan Venti Opoku, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Oregon International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, Ryan. Are you ready? So turn your paper and start reading. Nemako Prologue. Nemako Village was a dark and gloomy. The thickness of clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatch roof fell as though the, the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that en env enveloped the atmosphere when the cumul cumulus cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. 
The rains made the pathways more slippery, slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, to, when she, together with her children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sign and borrowed deeper. Your time is up, Ryan. Mr. Evans, okay, Mr. Kelvin, <laughs> you take this. All right. Ryan, yes. good start, good attempt, okay? But you have to practice more because this is a competition, okay? Yes, sir. You have to practice more and be familiar with words so when you see them, you can pronounce them on the go, okay? Okay. Nonetheless, you did well. Today is a fresh now, so yes. go do your homework and come back stronger next time. Okay. Go do your homework and come back stronger next week to vote for him all you need to do is to download the speak up mobile app you go to post you select bookworm for kids show you tap on ryan's picture to vote as many as you can for him this is book on reading competition season three i am your host fm and we are proudly brought to you by bookworm avenue consult and we are coming to you live from the cj studios many thanks to our supporters to planet drinks planet says a world of taste also to bless biscuit to cj multimedia to advance publications z fan world where if you have kids at home you want a special place for them to go and play they can go and have fun many thanks to media serving as well and also to c2g book suppliers moving on to our next part ladies and gentlemen help me welcome diamond palmer Of bookworm across the borders. My name is Diamond Efia Palmer, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of God of Riches International School. Please, I encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Moving on on the show, I have Palmer Diamond here with me. Diamond? Oh, you've already turned your paper. You're in a hurry. Let's start then. Follow. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of the lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatch roof felt as tough and already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst, for, the worst of the rainy season was darkness and enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonibus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways and slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she together with her children unfortunately your time is up and i move over to mr evans diamond palmer you have a nice name anyway um i realized your punctuations were good is that okay but some of the words you are struggling to pronounce them okay so what you have to do is that your instructor at home should help you in pronunciations hope you understand that Yes. All right. So all the best day. Thank you. To keep Diamond in the competition, dial star three six five star three six six dash, and then you proceed to her code B W forty seven. Chioma Aluka is my next reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Manuela Chioma Aluka a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Atomic Hills Presby Model School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Shoma, you are welcome. Thank you. Turn your paper. Ghanaians are watching. Everybody outside Ghana on social media all waiting so they can vote. You can start. Prolude. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the 
vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the columnibus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the Latin was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with... Your time is up, Chioma. Mr. Kelvin. Chioma. Yes. That was a good try, a good start, okay? But once again, it's a competition. So you should be able to practice more so you can find new words and be able to pronounce them once you meet them. Finally, learn to break words and syllable if you find it difficult pronouncing them. Nonetheless, you did well. Thank you. Great comments from Judge Kelvin. To keep her in the competition, download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Book Run for Kids Show, you tap on Chomes Picture to vote as many as you can to keep her in the competition. Kojo Fori is my next reader. <laughs> Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bukwem across the borders. My name is Kojo Ofori Aziba, a contestant of Bukwem and a people of Neighbors Complex. I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I will need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bukwem, I read today, read tomorrow. Kojo, are you ready? Are you sure? Yes, please. Turn your paper then. And start. Privilege. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the cloud and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sound of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the touch roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukie, the worst of the rainy season was darkness. They enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rain made the pathway more slippier and scarier to walk along. Mukie longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village. Kojo Fori, time is up. And on to Judge Evans Adisi. All you need to do is to go back home and then practice. But one of the things I want to advise you is that we score you for speed. Is that okay? That's so right. you must work on your speed. So we can, you know, you have about how many paragraphs there? About five, six paragraphs. So you can capture a lot. Is that okay? okay. Thank you, Judge Evans, to keep Kojo for you in the competition. Dial star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to his code BW37. Vanessa Arthur is our next reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworms across the borders. My name is Vanessa Mameka Kraba Atta, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Services Primary and Junior High School, Bema Camp. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Vanessa, you're welcome. Thank you. Turn your paper. Start reading. Prologue. The Marku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the 
thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, for Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness and and enveloped the atmosphere and enveloped the atmosphere. When the cumulonim cumulonimbus clouds surfaced during those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season. When she, when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. And now I'll move over to Judge Kelvin. Vanessa. Oh, please come back. Please come back. Stay there for me. <laughs> it's like you're running away from my comments. <laughs> Well That's done. Good. Nice attempt. Good try. Okay. But go home, practice more because it's a competition. Okay. And I know if you do that, we'll see you way into the finale. Okay. So go and practice more. Well done. And if you're at home, you want to keep her in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW49. Coming up is Josephine now. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookway across the borders. My name is Josefina Jakina, a contestant of the Season 3 Bookway competition and a pupil of Great Future Stars Academy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookway and read today and read tomorrow. Thank you. Josephine is here. Josephine, how are you doing? Please, I'm doing great. All right, that's good to hear. Turn your paper. Your parents are home watching, siblings, family members, colleagues from school. Make them proud. Over to you. Rollage. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the villagers the village a threatening look. The sound and the lightning and the sound of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof fell, felt as thorn, as thrown the already light structure would cave in. For mansion, the west of the rainy season was darkest, was darkness that ever ever plowed the atmosphere when the command loneliness bus clouds surface. During those times, light from the lantern was like was like a star in the dark sky, a gleaming of hope. The rain may Your time is up, Josephine Na, and I move over to Mr. Evans at the for comments. Josephine Na. Two things I like about your dress, your flower, and your bees. Thank you. It's very nice. But you know something? There are some basic words you are not able to pronounce. So it tells me that you have to go back home and do more practice. Is that okay? Okay. So please, just go and read more at home. All right? Okay. If you want to keep her in the competition, download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can for her. Dominic Fiaforme is my next reader. Hello, Ghanians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Dominic Fiaforme a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and the people of the Prince of Zion Academy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. All right, all right. Hold on for me, Dominic. Hold on for me. Hold on for me. Hold on for me. You are in a hurry. I'm sure viewers are home. You want to impress them. So now you can turn the paper and start reading. Impress them for your votes. Glory to you. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. 
the sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as true the already light structure would give in. From, from UK, the west of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the Kununonima bus cloud surfaced. During those times, light from the Latin was like a star in the darkness sky. A gleaming of hope, the rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mookie longed, the, Mookie longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathering by the first at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Milky gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloud. That's it for you. Time is up. Judge Kelvin. Well done, okay? Thank you. Well done. But you have to practice more because it's a competition, okay? Uh, you're going to find new words all the time. So if you do not practice more at home, read more to find new words, you find it difficult when you get here, okay? So go home, practice more, and make everybody proud, all right? Thank you. You are home, you also need to make him proud by picking up your phone on networks in Ghana and start voting. Star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to his code BW16. Help me welcome our next reader, Emanuela Mensah. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Emanuela Mensa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Greatest Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your votes to progress to the next day. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Emanuela Mensa, okay. Emanuela, turn the paper. Now it's time. That's <laughs> okay. You can start. Okay. Prologue. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the tight roof felt as though the already light structure would give him. Mr. Formukwe, Formuke, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that involved the atmosphere when the Kimuloni bus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the Latin was like star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rain made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She waited the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and, bur and buried a burrow deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as dead. She prayed for a good night's sleep, a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. The last one had been scary, and as much as she tried to avoid, avoid it, she played on her mind. Time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Emanuela. So, Mr. Evans. Emanuela. I'm sure you have a lot to say. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> that, 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 that's good. The speed is on point. But... It's making you miss some words. Is that okay? okay? So whilst you are trying to be speedy, at least make sure you pay attention to the words so you can pronounce them well. Is that okay? But you go for me five in the air. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so to keep her in the competition, there are star three six five, star three six six and then you proceed to her code BW30. Elizabeth and Ponsan is our next one. Ghanians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Elizabeth Koko Amponsa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and the people of Opa and A Basic School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me, to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have Elizabeth Mensa here. No Elizabeth Amponsa, right? Okay, sure, 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 sure. Turn your paper. Make your parents proud at home. Your colleagues in school are also watching. You can start. Prologio. Minako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. 
each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would ca carve in. For Mukye, the worst, the worst of the raining season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the Kumo, Kumuluni bus, Kumuluni bus clouds surface. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more sleepy and scarier to walk along. Mukil longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain... And the time is up for you, Judge Kelvin. Elizabeth. Nice try, good attempt, okay? But you have to go practice more. It is a competition, so practice more and build up on your vocabulary. So when you meet new words, you do not fumble, but you're okay to pronounce them right on the go, okay? okay. Well done. To keep Elizabeth and Ponsan in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Book for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. It is only through your votes and her reading that will make a progress to the next round of the competition. Help me welcome our next reader, Christabel Jaboa. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Christabel Ansuma Yabua, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Silicon Valley International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So Christabel Yabua is here. Christy, I hope you are fine. Yes, please. So turn your paper. Everyone is watching at home. It's your first time. Make them proud. You can start. Prologue. Mimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as true as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukua, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus cloud surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukua longed for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukua gave a deep sign and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as death. She prayed for a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. The last one had been scary and as much as she tried to avoid it, it replayed on her mind as she lay down to sleep. Wow! <laughs> I'm waiting to hear what Judge Kelvin or Judge Evans... Judge Evans, right? Okay. Judge Evans... Christopher, Christopher right? Charlie, we are superstar. Uh, your your words are the words are coming clear. The punctuation is on point, but uh, you know you shouldn't get it to your head. Is that okay? Yes, Keep yes. practicing, and you do well. I'm sure you are making your 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 uh, instructor proud. Uh, you know today. So all the best there. I knew what was coming. I knew Mr. Evans very well. So to keep Christabel Yabua in the competition, she needs your vote. Girl, star three six five star. 366 session, then you proceed to a code BW24. BW24. Makafui Royal is up next. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Karen Makafui Royal, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Tender Shepherd School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Royal, you are welcome. Thank you. Turn your paper and start reading. Prologue. The Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the cloud and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sound of the lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. 
Each rain dropped on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Miyuki, the west of the rain, the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere with the cumulo, cumulo, cumulonim, cumulonimbus cloud surface. During those times, light from the lantern were like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made a pathway for slippery and scarier to walk along. Miyuki longed for the, the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to the stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Miyuki gave a deep sigh. That's it for you, Makafui. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Makafu Royal. Yes, sir. Well done. Good attempt, okay? But it's a competition. So okay. you have to get back home, practice more, find new words, build on your vocabulary. So when you meet new words, you do not fumble with them, okay? okay. Nonetheless, you're doing well and keep it up. Well done. Thank you. That's it for Makafu Royal. To keep her in the competition, download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to Pose, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can for her. This is Bookworm Reading Competition Season 3. My name is FM. We take a break on the show. When we are back, we continue. Don't go anywhere. <music> You welcome back from the break. The program is proudly brought to us by Bookworm Avenue Consort, and we are coming to you live from the CJ Studios. And now it's time for Denzel Sarkodie. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Denzel Sarkodie Adu a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Jack and Joe School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Ado, that's what you're doing? Are you ready? So turn your paper. Okay. And make everyone proud. You can okay. start. Prologue. Nimanko village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the third roof felt as though they already, the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that developed the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery, more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa. The Village Storyteller. Thank you so much. Your time is up. <laughs> I was wondering why you stopped, though, but then no, maybe no Judge Evans? Uh, then, sir, what's up? Um, Hope you are fine. Yes, please. Okay, good attempt, okay? But get home and do more practice. Okay. You will do well in this competition. All right. Thank you. To keep Denzel Sarkodie Ado in the competition, all you need to do is to dial star three six five star three six six and then you proceed to his code BW twenty one. Moving on, we have Serafina Asamoa. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Serafino Hinesi Asamoa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Grace at Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your voice to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. We have Serafina here, ready to read. Please turn your paper. Start. 
Prology. The Manku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threat a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and ten tender seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not would not stop. Each rain drop on the touched roof felt as tough the already light structured code came in. For Munke, the worst of the raining season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the Your time is up. Oh, Jack Kelvin. Okay. Um, <laughs> Serafina, well done. First attempt. I would like to applaud you for that. But it is a competition. You have to practice more because you would come and meet words probably you have not met before. So you have to read constantly at home. So when you come, you find these words easy to pronounce. Okay. So okay. more practice, you can do better than this, okay? Okay. All right. To keep Serafina in the competition, download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Book on Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. Enam Ofori is our next reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Anna Mofori, a contestant of Book Poem Season 3 and a pupil of Santa Barbara School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book Poem, we today need to know. Thank you. Our sister Anna Mofori is here. Anna, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Kindly turn the paper now. Everyone is watching at home. It's time to make them proud so they can keep voting for you. You can start. Prologue. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Muke, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, Light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to the stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Unfortunately, your time is up, Mr. Evans. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I will charge you to go home and then do more practice. Okay, because I realized at a point your speed was a bit slow. Is that okay? All right. All the best. That's it from Mr. Evans at this to keep and I'm in the competition there, star three six five star three six six and then you proceed to her code. BW33 Hajara Rashid is our next reader. Hello, good people of Ghana and the amazing viewers of Bookworm Season 3. My name is Hajara Rashid, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a people of Christian Home School. Please, I need you to vote for me. To keep me in the competition and I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, 
Read today, lead tomorrow. Our sister Hajara Rashid is here. Hajara, please turn your paper and make everyone proud at home. Start reading. Prolage. The Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a treating look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seems, seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. From Kie, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus cloud surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mikael longed for the dry season when she, when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to the stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. Wow, time is up, and I move to Mr. Kelvin. How's your well done? Clap for yourself. Okay, good attempt, nice try. But because it's a competition, you go home, you practice more. So when you meet new words, you do not fumble with them. Okay, so well done. Well done for Mr. Kelvin. So to keep Hajara Rashid in the competition, there are star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to her code. BW50. Colin Boy is on this reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Colin Najili Boy, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Star of the CRC Basic School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Colin Boy is here to prove herself. Colin, you can turn the paper. Thank you. And start reading. Prologue. Nemaku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the, vegeta and the vegetation nearby gave the village and the threatness look, look. The sounds of the lightning and tender seemed to go. Um, I start again? Joining us now is Colin Boy. Colin, you are welcome. Thank you. So turn the paper and start reading. Prologue. Nimaku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a training look. The sounds of the lightning and the thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as tough as thought the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the worst of the rainy season was darkness that en enveloped. Atmosphere when the all right, so your time is up, Colin and Mr. Evans will comment on you, Colin boy. Uh, so, like my colleague said, when you are reading and you find a word very difficult to pronounce, the next is to do what you jump to the next line. Is that okay? Because we are judging you according to speed as well. 
so you don't fumble around that place. Is that okay? But nevertheless, you did well. Is that okay? All right. <laughs> So to keep her in the competition, all you need to do is to download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to Pose, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. And our next reader is Asida Kumi. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the world. My name is Asida Inshua Adeki a contestant of Blue Crime Season 3 and a people of Lovely Kids School in Dansuman. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Blue Crime, we today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, Asida Kumi. How are you? So kindly turn your paper. Your friends are home watching, parents, family members, make them proud. Start reading. Nemaku village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on, on the thatch roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surf surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark side, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia worked for the, for the dry season when she, together with the ch with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and bowed. And that's it for you, Asida Kumi. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Asida, yes. well done. Okay. okay. You did well. Good attempt. Okay. Nice try. Okay. 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 Alright, so you have to go and practice more. So okay. when you meet words, you are able to pronounce them without fumbling. But okay. so far, so good. Go and practice more, okay? Okay. All right. To keep Asada in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to her code BW43. We have another Asada coming, but this time around is Asada Atia. <laughs> Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Jaden Osu Etia, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of University Basic School. I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. We're still live on Bookworm Season 3. We have Asida Atia here. Asida, you're welcome. Thank you. Turn your paper. We are ready for you. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure could cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the Kamuloni boss clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scary to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloak to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as death. She prayed for a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. The last one had been scary as much as she tried to avoid it. It played on her mind as she lay down to sleep. She soon dozed off. The trail All right, so Asada, your time is up. And now to Mr. Ivan Sadisi. Mr. President, Charlie did well, okay? I like the way you read the fluency was on point. 
So go and practice more at home, okay? okay. And you go far in this competition. Right. If you are home, you saw what he did, and you are impressed. Pick up your phone or networks. Star three six five star three six six slash and then you proceed to his code B W forty two. Coming up is Miguel Frimpong. <laughs> Hello fellow Ghanaians and viewers of Book Crime Across the Borders. My name is Miguel Kwame Frimpo. I am a contestant of Book Crime Season 3 and a pupil of Christ Legacy International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book Crime, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. I have my brother here, Miguel Frimpo. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Alright, so turn your paper. And make the Fimpons proud. Over to you. Prologue. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetations nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rains would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structed would cave in. For Muke, the worst of the rainy season was darkness and involved the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scarier to walk along. Muke longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from grandpapa the village storyteller she wished the rain would stop muke gave a deep sigh and borrowed and that's it for you miguel judge kelvin malo miguel yes sir. that was a great start good attempt so far okay I like the way you paid attention to your phonemic awareness and was able to pronounce even words that had letters of about nine or ten thank well you well done but because it's a competition don't let your head get bigger go home and practice and come back stronger and better well done okay thank you all right so go home and practice more i'm sure he, he made a film part so if you are home and you are watching it's time to pick up your phone and vote star 365 star 366 and then you proceed to his code bw32 or you download the speak up mobile app you go to post you select bookworm for kids show you tap on his picture and vote as many as you can moving on our next reader is king george hello guys and amazing viewers of bookworm across the borders my name is King George, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a people of Good Shepherd International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us now is King George. George, how are you doing? I'm fine. All right, so turn the paper. We are all ready for you. Start reading. Really? Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the cloud and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of the lightning and thunder seemed to go on f forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the touching roof felt like a already light structure would cave in. From Mukwa, the less the west of the rainy season was darkness and enveloped on the atmosphere as the cold. Col Cumulus bus cloud surface. During those times, light from the lighting was like a star in the dark sky, a glamour of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk on. Makwa longed for the dry season and she, together and the children in the village, gathered by the fire to listen to stories from Grandpa, the villager storyteller. She, she wished the rain would stop. Makwa gave a deep sign and buried a, a deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as day. She prayed for... And that's it for you, King George. Your time is up. Judge Kelvin, over to you. I think I will allow Judge Evans to okay, take Judge this Evans. one. <laughs> All right, Judge Evans. <laughs> he, he's running away from you. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you are indeed King George. Is that okay? In fact, the speed is okay, but it's not correspond with your pronunciation. Is that okay? So you are speeding all right, but the words are not coming out clearly. Some of the mistakes you are making cannot be accepted. Is that okay? So go and practice more at home. Pay attention to the words before you pronounce them. Is that okay? To keep King George in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to his code BW39. Help me welcome Elijah I. Hello, Ghanaians, and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Elijah Ai, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of the Blue Crystal School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us now is our brother Elijah Aye. Elijah, please turn the paper and make everyone proud. We are waiting. Prologue you. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the cloud and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seems to go on forever. The heavy rain won't, wouldn't stop. Each rain drop on the hatchet roof fell as though the already light structure would cave in. For Muyeke, the west of the rainy seasons was dark that employed the atmosphere when the cumulonibus cloud surfaced. During the times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scarier to walk along. Muki longed for the dry season when she together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Muke and that's it for you. Your time is up, Judge Kelvin. Elijah, yes. good attempt. Nice try on your first time. I would urge you to go practice more, okay? Because we are looking at your fluency, your composure, punctuations, and your speed, okay? So you go home, you practice constantly. Okay, build on your vocabulary. So if you meet new words, you're able to pronounce them at ease. Okay, well done. Well done from Judge Kelvin. To keep him in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to his code BW20. So many thanks for joining us, Elijah. Moving on, our next reader is Aaron Nyama. Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Aaron Opokwe Siedunyama, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Mission International School in Basic 6. Please, I encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, we today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us now is Aaron Nyama. Aaron, please turn the paper and make everyone proud. Start reading. Nimako was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a treacherous look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and... And that's it for you, Aaron. Mr. Evans, Adisi, over to you. 
Aaron. Yes, sir. Well done. Thank you. I there's an advantage you have, which is your punctuation. It's it's really on point. But because you are you are being timed, it is better you at least speed up a bit. Okay. So in your next uh, uh, round or your next uh, segment, when you come around, you try as much as possible to be fast. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. But you have done all. To keep Aaron in the competition, download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on his picture to vote as many as you can. Help me welcome Ehonam T. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Ehonam Gladys Amate a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Elecan Basic School, Menpasem East Lagoon. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Ready to deliver is Ehonam Te. Ehonam, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so turn your paper. Everyone is watching you on TV at home. Make them proud. Start. Nema prologue. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a, a, a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the, cha on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped, enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery, slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she together with their children in the village, gathered by, uh, by the fire at night to listen to, to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. And that's it for you, Ehonam, Judge Kelvin. Ehonam, yes. that's a good attempt, okay? okay? Well done for your first time, so I'll give it to you. But you have to go home and practice more, okay? It's a competition, so you have to practice more. So when you meet new words, you do not pause because we are looking at your speed. So the more you are pausing and you are being timed, your time will also be going. So therefore, you wouldn't be able to cover lots of paragraphs, okay? So okay. go home, practice more, and let me see you next week doing better than this. Well done. Thank you. And to help her progress to the next round, all you need to do is to pick up your phone. All networks here in Ghana, star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW. 18. Our next reader is Andrews Ansan. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Andrews Anan Ansan, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of the Living Spring School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. And you turn your paper. We are all waiting. You can start. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the on the thatched roof fell felt as though the the already light structure would ca would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was dark and an envelope enveloped that atmosphere. The, when the cumulonimbus com clouds surface during those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a gleaming of hope. The rains made the pathway more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia looked, 
longed for the dry season when she together with children in the village. Your time is up. That's it for you, Mr. Evans Adisi. Andrew. Yes. What's sir. up? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so you are you are doing well with your punctuations. Is that okay? Okay. But what I need you to do is that next time you are going to watch the word before you pronounce it. Don't okay. pronounce before watching. I hope you understand that. Because okay. some of the key, some of the simple words that we expect you to mention or pronounce, we are unable to pronounce them. Is that okay? okay? But go and practice more at home. You did so well. Next time, come better. Is that okay? Okay. To keep him in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak App mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on his picture to keep voting for him. Asari Mufida is our next reader. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the border. My name is Mufida Oredwa Asari a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Kinda Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So I got the name correct now. It's Mufida, right? Yes. Or read Asari. Yes. All right, so turn your paper and make the family proud. Over to you. Thank you. Logo. The, the Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and, the, and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would come from, from Mukia. The worst of the rainy season was darkness that env uh, enveloped the atmosphere with the cumulonimbus cloud surface. During those times, light from the light from the lantern was like a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways from the rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier. To to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children. All right, that's it for you, Mufida. Your time is up, and I move over to Judge Kelvin. Mufida, well done. Great stats. Good attempt, okay? But you have to practice more, okay? Practice more so you get used to words. When you see them, you can pronounce. And try to use your phonemic awareness, thereby breaking words into syllable. So if you see lengthier words, you're able to break them to pronounce as one. Okay? Practice more and come back stronger and better next week. Thank you. That's it from Judge Kelvin. To keep voting for her dial star 365 star 366 hash, and then you proceed to her code BW41. Help me welcome Karin Nyama. <laughs> Ghanians and amazing viewers of Bookworm. My name is Karin Esiko Amyama, a contestant of Bookworm Reading Competition Season 3 and a pupil of Mission International School Basic 5. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm Read Today, Read Tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us now is Karin Nyama. Karin, how are you doing? So turn your paper. Everyone is watching you from home. Make us proud. Prologue. Nemako village was a dark and gloomy. Was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sound of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on that touched roof fell as though the already light structure would cave in. Fumekwa, the worst rainy season was darkness and enveloped the atmosphere with cumulonimbus cloud surface. 
during those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mueka longed for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, guarded by the fire at night. Your time is up. I move over to Mr. Ivan Sadisi. Karen. Yes, sir. Well done. Thank you. But um, I'll advise you to learn to speed up a bit. Is that okay? Yes, Apart sir. from that, quite well. You did quite well. Okay. Okay. To keep her in the competition, all you need to do is to download a Speak App mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on her picture to vote as many as you can. Our next reader is Eunice Gariba. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Eunice Adra Gariba a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Neighbor School Complex. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us now is Junis Gariba. Junis, how are you doing? I'm great. All right, so turn your paper. It's time to read. Everyone is home watching. Make us proud. Nimaku village was, a, was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation near, nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sound of lightning and thunder seems to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched root, roof felt as, thought, as though the already light structure would cave in. From Mukai, the, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that, env that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky a glimmer of hope. The rains, the rains made the pathway more slippery, slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukai Long... And that's it for you, Eunice Gariba. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Eunice, nice try, good attempt, okay? I would applaud you because it's your first time. I would urge you to go home and practice more, okay? Practice more. You're going to find new ways each and every week you come here. So if you do not read more, you would always come and find new ways and they'll make you fumble and practice more on your sounds. So when you meet consonants and vowels, you know how to add up to pronounce words. Okay, well done. To keep her in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, six, and then you proceed to her code BW36. Leonora Crantin is our next reader. and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Leonora Mansbia Crantin, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Abimara School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Leonora Crantin joins us on stage and ready to read. Leonora, can you turn your paper? Everyone is at home watching, friends, family. Start reading. Nemako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation near, nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on the thatched roof felt as, as though the already light structure would cave in. On the thatched roof, on for Mukia, the worst of the rainy seasons was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus cloud surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. 
Mukia long for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper on, under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only an illusion. She was as cold as death. She prayed for a good night's sleep and hoped against another bad dream. That's it for you, Leonora. Your time is up and over to you, Mr. Ivan Sadisi, for comments. My dear, good start, good pronunciations, good uh, punctuations. The speed is okay, but just don't, don't stop, okay? Keep practicing and you get to the top. So if you want to see Leonora in the next round of the competition, pick up your phone on it to here in Ghana, star 365. Star 366 six, and then you proceed to the food, the W23 Funeral. Agba is my next video. Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bukwe across the borders. My name is Seyram Fano Agba, a contestant of Bukwe Season 3 and a pupil of Immaculate Conception School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Joining us on stage is our dear sister Fanua Agba. Getting the name correct now. So, Fanua, how are you doing? I'm fine. You're fine. Please speak aloud so that they can hear you. Okay. When they are voting, they're like, oh yes, you read well. They heard you and they are voting. Turn your paper and start reading. Prologue. Namako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. For Muke, the most the worst of the rainy season was darkness that and Developed the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus clouds surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Michael longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night to listen to the stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Milke gave a deep sigh and borrowed deeper on... Your time is up, and I move to Judge Kelvin. Fano, well done, okay? Mm. It's a great start. You observed your punctuation signs. Your pronunciations were quite on point. So I would urge you to go home. Practice more, because it's a competition, okay? Practice more. Make sure you are always up there. You find new words, so when you come... You do not fumble at any other time, okay? okay? Go home and well done. Thank you. To keep her in the competition, dial star 365, star 366, and then you proceed to her code BW51. Coming up next is Caleb Naughty. Hello Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the bodies. My name is Caleb Nauti, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Red Stars Montessori School. Please, I encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. I have with me Caleb Nauti, ready to read. Caleb, kindly turn your paper, finally. We are all ears. Start reading. Prologue. Nimako village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each rain drop on the thatched roof felt as though the, the already light structure would cave in. For Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the Cumulonibus clouds surface. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark, in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. 
Mukia along for the dry season when she, together with the children in the village, guarded by the fire at night to listen to the stories from Grandpa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deep under the light covers of the cloth to feel warmer. It was only... Your time is up, Caleb. Mr. Evans had to see comments. Caleb, clap for yourself. Yeah, great start, great start, great start. So go and practice more at home, okay? To keep him in the competition, all you need to do is to download a Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show, you tap on his picture to keep voting for him. Our final reader, ladies and gentlemen, is Alexander Okansi. Hello, Ghanaians and amazing viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Alexander Okansi, a contestant of Bookworm Season 3 and a pupil of Angela Primary and Junior High School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, me today, me tomorrow. Thank you. Guess what our final reader for today is here in the person of Alexander Okansi. Alex, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. We've been waiting for you. Turn your paper. <laughs> And start reading. Prologue. The Marco village was dark and gloomy. The thickness of the clouds and the vegetation nearby gave the village a threatening look. The sounds of lightning and thunder seemed to go on forever. The heavy rain would not stop. Each raindrop on the thatched roof felt as though the already light structure would cave in. From Mukia, the worst of the rainy season was darkness that enveloped the atmosphere when the cumulonimbus cloud surfaced. During those times, light from the lantern was like a star in the dark sky, a glimmer of hope. The rains made the pathways more slippery and scarier to walk along. Mukia longed for the dry season when she, together with children in the village, gathered by the fire at night, to listen to stories from Grandpapa, the village storyteller. She wished the rain would stop. Mukia gave a deep sigh and burrowed deeper under the light covers of the cloth to feel warm. It was only an illusion. And that's it for you, Alexander. Over to you, Judge Kelvin. Alexander, you have a good voice, okay? okay. Thank you. I applaud you for that. Thank you. But this is a competition. You've done well today, being your first start. But go home, practice more, meet new ways, so you build up on your vocabs. So when you come here, you won't fumble and work on your speed as well because you are being timed, okay? All right, well done. Thank you. So to vote to keep Alexander in the competition, all you need to do is to download the Speak Up mobile app. You go to post, you select Bookworm for Kids Show. You tap on his picture to vote as many as you can. So here is where we draw the curtains for today's edition of Book and Reading Competition Season 3. I am your host, FM. Many thanks for staying tuned with us. Many thanks to our supporters for making this possible.